It has already been a busy day for the United Nations Deputy Secretary General, Amina Jane Mohammed. Upon arriving this morning, she joined all the women, girls and everyone in the country to celebrate International Women's Day. The UN Deputy Secretary General and her delegation joined the walk and yoga for life. She then had a dialogue with 26 young leaders. After a meeting with PNG Prime Minister James Marape, she officiated the official launch of the Spotlight Initiative. We will focus on investing in 11 provinces in all the four regions of the country. Everyone in the country is expected to benefit from the Spotlight Initiative. We will leave no woman or girl behind. The Spotlight Initiative is a 75 million Kina partnership program between the United Nations and the European Union. PNG is one of the six countries that the UN has chosen for the Spotlight Initiative. The program intends to strengthen and support the government's capacities and its commitment toward ending violence against women. This will be done through a variety of transformation programs, strengthening justice, child protection and the health sector, improving data quality, and supporting local and community-based organizations in their response on this issue. In all of the 140 plus countries the EU has diplomatic relations with, and we, just, we don't just stop, we take action, we get involved, and the EU will continue to work with our local and international partners until violence against women and girls is finally eradicated. NCD Governor Powers Pakop says the initiative will shine a light in every dark corner of the city and country. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to do away with the presentry. All the formalities has been done. Today, especially on this day, the 8th of March, International Women's Day, it's time for us to disrupt the status quo. Deputy Prime Minister Davis Stephen reiterated what the governor said and challenged individuals to take on the initiative. Some preparation has been done. Today I'm here to say it is not enough. It is not enough. Government in Wagani must admit that we are not doing enough, we are not prepared enough to tackle this challenge and to stop gender-based violence in our generation. The UN Deputy Secretary General Amina Jane Mohammed will be visiting a province in the Highlands and returns to New York on Wednesday with discussion points to present to headquarters. Lilian Soperakinea, National, MTV News.